I was cleaning up the office today and cleaning out the closet here in the office at home. And um, I was getting rid of a bunch of old files and things we didn't need, going through some old boxes. And I found a bag, a small gift bag, full of birthday cards from this last birthday of mine in October of 2008. And um, I don't keep birthday cards that long normally. I just forgot they were there. Unless it's something really exceptionally funny or very, you know, interesting, uh, I won't hold on to it very long. And even then, I don't tend to hold on to those cards that are interesting and funny very long. So I was throwing away a bunch of old birthday cards today, and I ran across one of them from that same birthday that was one of those musical birthday cards that play something when you open the card. This one in particular played the Twilight Zone theme. And, you know, to me, it's one of those things like Big Mouth Billy Bass. It was amusing the first time you saw it for about 10 seconds, and then after that, the novelty of it really wore off. Although I appreciate what the person was trying to do with this card. It was enjoyable, it was humorous, it was something different, and honestly, the Twilight Zone theme is not nearly as annoying as Big Mouth Billy Bass. Few things in life are. Well, anyway, I was getting ready to throw this card away, and I literally had the card in my hand right above the trash can, and I, and I stopped for a second. I thought, hey, you know what, let me listen to that one more time, you know, just for the heck of it. So I opened it back up, and it starts playing the Twilight Zone theme, and I'm thinking, okay, that's amusing. And I go to throw it away, and I pause again, and I think, you know what, there's some potential for a project here involving mischief, which is my favorite kind of project. So I dissected the greeting card, and I took out the musical mechanism that's inside there. You can see that on this side right here, you've got the lithium battery and a little bit of circuitry and some wires running to the speaker. Also on this side with the circuitry and the lithium battery, you have uh, a piece of metal, um, like a little hinge almost, hanging above another piece of metal. And when they make contact and complete the circuit, the song plays. And it goes for a while. Not done yet. So anyway, this thing's actually pretty loud for what it is, and as you can see, it's very compact. It could be fit in a very small space. It would have to be since it was in a greeting card. So anyway, as I'm you know cutting apart this greeting card and, and taking this. Uh, musical mechanism out of there, my mind starts wandering. And it went, as it tends to do, in about a dozen different directions at once. One of those directions is the is the fact that this has potential to be used, for example, inside uh, the door of a frozen food freezer at the grocery store. To where, as, uh, to where if someone opens the door to go you know, get a box of frozen waffles or popsicles or ice cream or whatever happens to be in there, this gets pressed down by the hinge of the door, the circuit gets completed, and this starts playing. Meanwhile, this little speaker is tucked back in there behind you know, a bag of frozen peas or whatever it is. That's just one of the dozen ideas that instantly popped into my head. One of the, one of the dozen uh, amusing and somewhat inappropriate ideas that popped into my head for this. And I thought I would mention this on the blog because I think it's funny. I found it kind of amusing that, you know, the card, the money that was in this musical birthday card is long spent. Uh, the other gifts I received that day are on the shelves or wherever they are. Not that I don't appreciate them, but they're in their place. And meanwhile, this far beyond October, here we are in January, I come back to this musical greeting card and this little tiny cheap thing has so much potential for entertainment. Magic is everywhere around you in everyday life if you look for it. And mischief is too. Sometimes you have to cause it though. So anyway, if I do end up doing anything groundbreaking with this, uh, I may bring my smaller video, portable video camera, not the one built into the laptop, with me, uh, hopefully to tape the, uh, record the installation of this wherever I do decide to put this. There's more ideas beyond the grocery store, but that's just one example I wanted to give you. So anyway, I thought that was amusing and I uh, felt like I should share that with you.